What's up everybody? Kimberly Olson here coming in live for a fun training. You're going to go for a walk in my neighborhood, little memory lane here. So talk about not caring what people think. If people were seeing me walk by right now and they're like, that's Kimberly Coventry. That's my maiden name. They're probably like, what the heck is she doing? Right? So just to prove that I don't care what people think and I don't want you to care what people think, <laughs> I'm going to take a walk and do a Facebook live with you. So if you've ever had a selfie stick before and used it, it's a lot trickier than you think because while I'm walking, I have to make sure I don't trip. So if there are any casualties, you are not allowed to laugh at me and that's just what we're doing, okay? So we're gonna jump into the mindset training today. So go ahead and put one in the comments if you're watching this live. We got some FedEx action in the background, this is hilarious. Put a two in the comments if you are watching the replay. If you're new, I swear I don't normally do this. So there you go, put new in the comments. And if you share this, you get a special thank you for sharing. Hi, Tim Dunkel, thanks for hopping on. I'm a little sleep deprived, Elise hasn't been feeling great, so she likes to party all night, which means she tries to snuggle with me and she doesn't sleep. But she literally at 3 a.m. was like, okay, mommy, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go get some, some orange, orange grapes. And I'm like, what the heck are orange grapes? Cherry tomatoes at 3 a.m. and she wanted to watch cartoons. And I was like, go to bed right now. So this is what's happening. So as far as mindset training today, by the way, you guys, those that did a book selfie where you took a picture of my book, you guys get a copy of the Fit Kim Lifestyle on me. So I want you to message me um, if you haven't already or email me at thegolddiggergirl at gmail. Send me your address and you just have to pay for shipping. It's just a few dollars. And I'm gonna mail you a signed copy of the Fit Kim Lifestyle as a thank you. If you haven't got your book yet, it was number one on Amazon. So I encourage you to go get it. If you wanted to get the Kindle, if you buy the paperback, you get the Kindle for free. So that's why it says zero dollars. You can buy the Kindle, FYI. Anyways, thank you so much, you guys. It's just been so cool. Okay, so let's jump in. So mindset training. So the thing I want you to think about is that what we say is really powerful. You guys know this, but I can count on my hand four people in the last 24 hours who said they were dumb or stupid to me. Two were in person, two were in Facebook messages. I had two different clients this week say it. Like, I don't know what my problem is, or I'm so dumb. Put a three in the comments if you have uttered these words this week. What's up again, FedEx? If you have uttered these words, so you said, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, I don't know what my problem is, why can't I figure this out? Who's ever been on the internet and you can't figure something out? Like, I seriously totally understand where you're trying to just share a video and you cannot figure it out and you feel really dumb. You feel like, what's my problem? Am I too old, right? Okay, put a three in the comments. Pam, Pam's on here. I'm walking to our old bus stop right now. <laughs> Memory lane right here. Richmond, Michigan, whoop, whoop. So anyways, if you have done that before, put a three in the comments. Okay, we do this. And so it was funny. I'll, I'll, I'll share one of them because she's not on Facebook is my mom. And she said something and she's like, hey, that's so dumb. I'm so dumb. And I go, no, you're not. Actually, I could have totally did that. Anybody could have did that. And it was just an accident. And she kind of looked at me like, what? So we forget that like we're so programmed to beating ourselves up that when we say we're dumb and are stupid, you guys, this stuff is real. Tony Robbins, he said to go as far as if you say things such as, I'm going to kill that person, or I could just kill her, okay? I could just strangle her. He said, those words aren't even acceptable, okay? Those words aren't acceptable because words are so powerful. And so when you say words like that, you're attracting those kind of things into your life. So if you notice kind of how you talk to yourself or other people that you actually are setting the tone for that to happen. So if you, if you think I'm so stupid, I'm so dumb, then you're going to validate that. Like more things are going to come up to you to validate that. Does that make sense? There was a girl who messaged me and she said that her upline told her, which really makes me mad. And I wish I knew who her upline was because I would personally message her myself and tell her what I thought. Her upline told her that she, her story was unrelatable because this girl had been through a lot of trauma and her upline told her not to share it. Can you imagine? So whoever you are out there, if you're watching this, no ma'am. Everybody's story is, is theirs to share. Everybody has something to share and everybody can relate. Um, Tanya, I think I saw you on here and she has something called uh, my, your story. It's, it's a group. And so she would, she would come in and tell her story. Other people would, you guys, it's so inspiring to hear these comeback stories or just struggles that are people go, that go through because you know what social media is, right? Social media, let's keep walking. Social media is the glamour shots, right? Like, okay, I've got a filter on right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. We put, oh, 
you know, my children, I put a picture of them yesterday and I was kind of laughing at myself because I'm like, I'm so blessed, you know, because I am. Like, I think about, you know, loss of a child. Like, I think that stuff and I think just get over it. Don't, you know, be frustrated by them. You're lucky you have these children. So I put, you know, oh, I just love my children. But, you know, Elise was up till 3 a.m. So we put the best of the best out on social media and everybody sees that. And then we start to think like something's wrong with us. We start to think something's wrong with us if our lives aren't fabulous, right? And so you have to remember that you have a story. You are important just the way you are. So if you feel like, you know, not valued or not worthy, you are, okay? <laughs> Literally, down to the hair on your head, you've been created to be you. So why are you saying that you're dumb or you're stupid and all that stuff, okay? So the one thing I want you to stop doing is I want you to stop using really strong words like that, okay? So if anyone else says it to you, so if you have a spouse that's negative, I think what you do is just plug your ears and just say, stop and walk out of the room, okay? If you're doing it to yourself, which I did a poll today, most of you said you'd like to work on your thoughts for yourself, not other people. So it's mostly you guys doing this to yourselves. I want you to replace it right away when you guys hear yourselves say, that was so dumb of me. I want you to say no. No, ma'am. No, it wasn't. I'm a freaking rock star. And I want you just to flip it really crazy. So it's just so crazy. You're just like, okay, that's a little extreme. I want you to just fake it till you make it. Because you guys, I seriously used to be the most freaking negative person ever. I would wake up in the morning and be like, you suck. You stayed up too late last night. You didn't work on your business like you said. You yelled at your kids. You ignored your husband. Like, I was so negative. And now I'm like, I'm awesome. I rock. Oh my gosh, look what I just did. And you guys can see the reflection of that. I'm not any different than you. Any one of you could do whatever you want to do with your business, social media, you know, whatever your creative outlet is, how you want to show up in the world. You guys can all do that. There's nothing different between you and I. The difference is, is what I tell myself. I tell myself I'm awesome. So if you guys start doing that, you're going to see that in your life, okay? So the thing you're going to stop doing is you're going to stop the negativity. So I'm talking those strong words. Again, you know, even things like, you know, I could kill him or I hate him or this freaking sucks or what the hell, you know, all that stuff. That's got to stop, okay? You guys all agree? And then I want you to start with something very strong and affirming. So every day you're going to say, I'm freaking awesome. And so Tony Robbins says, do it in the mirror. I don't really do this, but he says to go in the mirror and be like, you're, or he, what is it? He calls them eye cantations. You're like, I can do this. I'm awesome. And you have to yell it and have emotion. So I don't really do that, but it doesn't mean you can't, right? So maybe you guys could do that, but I want you to replace it with something stronger, something very powerful, okay? And even if you're just like, this is so weird, Kimberly's just a little crazy, trust me, you guys, because would you rather be saying things like I suck or saying things like what I say, which is I'm awesome? I mean, what's better? So even if you had to kind of trick your psyche, it's so worth it, okay? So I want you to stop the negativity with the words, okay? We're talking about words right now, even if it's a thought, words, and then I want you to replace the words out loud with something positive with emotion, okay? Literally, let's do a seven day challenge, okay? Seven day challenge and you can message me. So you gotta go a week straight and you have to say, okay, Kimberly, these are some of the words I noticed I was saying, so I just, cut those out you know I stopped saying those or I just noticed it so I started every day saying this I want you to message me I want to hear about it okay and then also this is getting a little crazy I better wrap this up um, if you guys want next week is my Instagram boot camp if you're not on my on my list just put your email below and I'll put you on my newsletter and then you'll get the information on it but it is starting next week it's a four-week crash course on Instagram I just hit 17,000 followers so what I'm gonna do in the boot camp is I'm gonna show you how to build up your Instagram and how to not be spammy, how to prospect. I get customers, I get prospects, I get so much from Instagram. It's incredible. Uh, Facebook's great, but Instagram is, is really hot. Instagram's the fastest growing social media platform. Plus, you can get a lot of leads. So just put your email if you wanna get in the bootcamp that starts next week. We actually have a ton of people already registered, which is exciting. And this probably will be the last one I do this year. And then I also have a book writing workshop. So if you wanna write a book or just learn how to do it, I'll show you exactly what I did to get mine on Amazon as the number one best selling book right away. I'll show you all my tips and tricks and just how to make the time to do that. And then last but not least, I'm super excited. So if you feel that you want some more accountability from me or you just want premium access to my content, my teaching, me to be able to hold your hand step by step, kind of being like a virtual upline, then I am launching a the Gold Digger Mastermind Group October 1st. It'll be a fee-based program. You'll pay monthly for it. It'll be minimal, minimal. I'm talking like 
to Starbucks a month. I mean, come on, if you can't figure that out, then you've got more problems than we, we need to talk privately about that, okay? So that is gonna start October 1st. Some of you have already talked to me about it. I will have an application process for it because it's the only people in there are people who are serious, who are like, I'll do, do whatever you say, Kimberly, tell me what to do. I'm stuck, I need help, I wanna grow my business, but I just, I'm not getting there. I don't know what my problem is, I need some help. Watch your words, but you know what I'm saying. So if you want help with that, just keep an eye out for that just make sure you're on my email list and then i should get that up soon because i want to make sure i can start letting people apply for it because it's going to be where i'm going to spend my time so you guys are going to have access to me because i'll be honest things are getting a little crazy with my groups and notifications and messages that it's it's getting harder and harder to keep up so i had to find a way to be able to serve those that are really like putting their hands up that they want this okay so we're having a little party at my family's house and it's an old school small town we got the rv out front already we are ready to rock and roll let me tell you so i'm gonna go get my girls up from their naps but thanks for hanging with me on my walk today and i will be back monday night for a social media training we can rock it out and kick off the week strong so thanks for watching you guys i'll see you later and have a good day bye